so my girl Polly is um, doing pretty bad today. Um, her blood cell count has been very low and the medicine we're giving isn't working. And yesterday was actually a pretty good day. She came downstairs and ate her food. And I thought, well, maybe it's, maybe it's kicking in. But this morning, she can barely walk a few steps. And um, I got out of the shower, and she had thrown up and was laying in it. And <clears throat> anyway, um, we've been treating her. And she's doing pretty bad, so I'm going to take her in and check her, see if there's any last thing I can do. But it doesn't look good for her. I love you, baby. Like, point one five. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Two in one week, this is Hanalei. As you can see, she's really having a lot of trouble breathing. And um, so, some, I think it's time to let her go. Things are still a little raw for me. I recently lost both of my cats, but I wanted to take some time to talk about euthanasia and pet loss. This is something we deal with all the time in veterinary medicine, and if you have a pet, it's something at some point you will have to deal with as well. And I want to do a video that showed the process a little bit, not out of some morbid curiosity, but really for a few reasons. And the first one is that I wanted people not to be afraid of what happens. Um, I want people to see that it's not something that's painful for the animals and not scary for them. Now, whether you choose to do this at home, at your veterinary hospital, this procedure is basically the same. We usually give a sedative first, and that first injection makes them either completely knocked out or really close to that, to the point where they really just don't care about much of anything. And that takes a few minutes. And then the second injection does have to go into a vein, which can be a little bit scary for them, which is why we like the sedative first. Once we give that injection, it only takes a few seconds, and that stops the heart and stops the lungs. It's very quick and painless. Another reason I wanted to talk about this is because I can't tell you how many times I've had people come into the office and we're euthanizing their animal and they're crying and sad and they apologize. I'm so sorry I'm crying. I'm sorry I'm such a mess. And I just want to tell them, no, don't be sorry. That's, that's an appropriate response. We're really good in this society about understanding that pets are important to us and to really love our pets and, and to see how much they mean to us. But at the same time, when pet loss happens, we still hear things like, you should go get another one right away. Or, you know, it's just a dog or it's a cat. Why don't you get over it? People are expected to go right back to work. And they, <sighs> I think people need to take the time to grieve appropriately. And people need to realize when someone has lost a pet that there is a process that everybody has to go through, a grieving process. And if you're out there and you're alone and feeling like nobody else is going through this, I want you to know that you are not alone. And if you have a friend who has lost a pet, there's only a few things you need to say to them. I'm sorry, I love you, and I'm here. With the loss of my cats, I had such an outpouring from my friends and family and even from people on social media that I've never met. And all of that helps. It's not gonna take away the sadness. It's not going to make everything okay, but it certainly helps me. I think the most important thing is that after this is over, please take care of yourself. And if you're really having a lot of trouble, there are pet loss hotlines and there are actually therapists out there now that specialize in pet loss. And it's reasonable to go find that help. Don't be afraid. 
want to thank you all for watching and for all the support and love that everybody has shown me. It means a lot to me, and I hope this video helps in some small way. If you know anybody that you think this would help, please share it with them. On Parks and Rec, they wrote 5,000 Candles in the Wind, and I wanted to write something at least twice as good, so here is 10,000 Candles in the Wind. Up in Kitty Heaven, here's the thing. You trade your paws for angels' wings. And once we've all said goodbye, you take a running leap and you learn to fly. Oh, I miss him.